Hey everybody, welcome. This is Euro Maestro, and I am broadcasting here from the Opera House of Paris, the Opera Garnier. This is the house of the Phantom of the Opera. So the Phantom of the Opera, of course, this novel written back in 1910, was based on real historical events that took place in this awesome building. Just take a look. We're gonna walk around now, and you can see, uh, of course, uh, uh, it was later transformed, that book was later transformed into a musical and uh, a film, which you guys are probably very familiar with. And we're going to see the opulence of this house, which Napoleon III ordered the construction of it in 1861. Uh, and uh, it is in the neighborhood of where we see a lot of Hausmannian style buildings. And... Um, it wasn't completed construction though until the 1870s under the Third Republic. So we'll talk about that later. Look at that magnificent ceiling as we walk around all the various levels here. So uh, the theater is considered in the Italian style and uh, the main room uh, which uh, has the shows is in what's called the French style, <laughs> which is uh, sort of like a horseshoe styled room. And we'll show you that in just a minute. Kind of crowded today, but let's take a look around. You can see the Grand Foyer, the Avant Foyer. And we'll go over to the uh, Salle de Glacier. So let's take a look at the ceiling. You can see this was this was made and designed in such a way uh, to see and to be seen. And uh, you'll particularly see that when we get to the, to the, main, uh, the main room. You see it's very opulent. We're at the orchestra level now. And uh, we'll go up to the other levels as well. So you can get a style, a sense of the uh, the style here. Okay, let's go. And they have all kinds of exhibits here that are showing like the dress, the dresses and costumes, um, both of the era and of various uh, productions that were put on here as well. Stairs. Lots of marble as you see. So finally we're gonna enter here the main room. So here's the what's called the French style theater, which you've probably seen in many opera houses. So it's shaped like a horseshoe. And you have all the different levels. They are actually doing some kind of um, rehearsals. So we came on a good day. You can see them on the stage there doing some kind of setup. Exactly what they're doing. Looks like they're unwrapping something. But uh, yeah, when you come here, sometimes you can see them uh, doing setups, or sometimes they're doing uh, actually rehearsals of some numbers. There's a whole group here sitting in the in the seats there, taking a guided tour. Uh, let's take a look up and turn around. The other thing I want to show you in just a second is the amazing ceiling 
which was painted by Chagall. Um, that was inaugurated in uh, September of uh, 1964, I believe. So you see all the different levels, and you can see the amazing, let me just pan around to the side so you can see what the seating looks like in these boxes. So you see they have these various boxes here, where you can have, uh, looks like about, this one has about six or seven seats, and a great view of the stage of course, and you can see one box after the next. Okay, now let's take a look at the ceiling. So we're going to go straight up and show you the Chagall ceiling. If you look closely, you can actually see his signature on the ceiling as well. And you can see the amazing uh, chandelier here. So there is the ceiling, the Chagall painted ceiling. So you can see it's pretty impressive. We'll try to pan around a little bit. Let me know if you see the signature. We'll give out points to the first person who can spot Chagall's signature. And tell me that in the comments. All right, so that's, that's without the zoom. Uh, let's do a little bit of zoom. See if that makes a difference. Oh boy, does that make a difference. All right, so now with the zoom, you can really see everything really kind of close up. Let's zoom back out for a second. you can get a better perspective of the hole. So there you go guys, the Chagall ceiling. So unfortunately, um, some of you know that I, you know, I periscoped this place many, many times, but of course, um, because there's no signal in here, the signal's very poor, I'm not able to actually live stream uh, the ceiling and this room in general. Um, so, uh, that's why we have to put this up on YouTube. Uh, but the rest you can actually see on the periscope, so that's pretty cool. Let's look up the side this way. So that gives you a pretty good idea of the room, I think. All right, let's check out some of the rest of the, the place. So if we go down this way, We'll end up in the Salle de Glacier. I'm going to go kind of quickly because it's going to be closing soon. And I want to show you what it looks like when you look out from the loggia out onto the street. So here we are. You can see this sort of amazing room. Let's kind of just pan around the room quickly. And you see you get great views of the city out the windows. Let's just take a quick look out the window. You can see the Hausmannian style buildings that I mentioned earlier. Let's go take a quick walk over to the Grand Foyer and also to the outside view of the balcony looking out over the city assuming it's still open. <laughs> 
So you have these uh, great hallways here leading up to the Avant Foyer and the Grand Foyer. First do the avant foyer with the chandeliers. And, uh, and here you can see the the main staircase. You see it's a double staircase. Uh, this is how we came up earlier. And again. You can see how it's designed. Everything is designed to see and be seen. All right. But the pièce de résistance, the grand foyer. So you're gonna see it's very ornate, very big. <laughs> Here we are. The, the balcony is still open, so we'll do the, we'll do the, a quick view of the balcony, a quick view of the grand foyer. Then we'll go out to the balcony, and then we'll come back and take a closer look. So you can see here we have the uh, the fireplace here, the mantel, and we will go up. So you can see the beauty on the walls and the ceilings. Hopefully. Whoa! So you can see how the ceiling, the ceilings are painted magnificently, as are the walls decorated. And let's try to, let's go down here to the end to so try to capture the whole hallway, um, or most of it. You see another fireplace down at the other end. You see all the various chandeliers. And now we will look up at the ceiling so you can get a sense of opulent and magnificent uh, so you can see really kind of just incredible ceiling. And I'll just do a little quick zoom so you can see all the detail in the paintings as well. So let's uh, let me go up here kind of to the start of this end and let's do a little little zoom. I don't know the lighting might not do it justice. You may have to come back in the middle of the daytime. But I think you get a pretty good sense. And even the sides of the ceiling are impressive with all those various paintings. All right, let's go to outside just for a quick second so you can see the view that you can see from the outside as well. So, kind of a cloudy, partly cloudy, partly sunny view today. You can see the balcony here. You see the magnificent marble floors. Phenomenal views of Paris. I can hear the street performers down below us. And we can see them as well. You see people just Sitting on the steps there, sitting on the steps here, listening to the street performers. Let's just take a look up. This is the cross the river line, of course, the square. And there's the bus, see all the great buildings. And let's go over to the center balcony so we can get a straight on view of the avenues. Impressive views. You can 
see. Uh, there's no one in the center balcony, just us. So let's do that. Let's do a quick pan to the left. Uh, the Apple Store is just to the left of this view here. So the Apple has a, a store in the uh, near the plus a little bit off. Here to the right, see the balconies. And if we look down, can we look down? That's up guys. Look down. And we see the former. We see all the people sitting on the steps. Always singing one of the songs I like. get some entertainment here. Always buskers and street performers in Paris. And you get a little sense of the Parisian traffic as well and the amazing, amazing views that we have all over. Um, the Lafayette store, Galerie Lafayette, is right behind me and uh, they have an amazing view from their roof as well and we make... Bonjour monsieur, est-ce que je peux faire juste une photo ou bien tout de suite? 10 secondes. Merci. All right, we're gonna really have to go because they're closing. So I just wanna quickly go down here and then we gotta come right back. So they are closing. But I don't want you to miss this. It was kind of, kind of him to let us go this way. So this is the end and you can see the other side here. So it goes all the way around. So that's the magnificent view that you get from up here. They are closing, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go fast now. Well, on the way out, we'll take a sneak peek. Look at that magnificent view. Merci beaucoup, monsieur. So that was the uh, that was the uh, the balcony that we saw there. And uh, let's just walk through here. We're gonna have to do this whole thing kind of quickly because they're closing on us. But look at look at look at that view, guys. The bells are ringing. But you can just see how utterly magnificent this place is. Alright. That fly says we still have 10 minutes. We don't. <laughs> and uh, you can see, just look at these magnificent ceilings. Okay, let's show you guys the way out. We're gonna have to go through the um, through the gift shop to get outside, and then we'll show you the front of the building, and then we will. And our YouTube video there. Uh, as always, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please put them in the comments and I will get back to you. Uh, I'd love to answer any questions that you may have. So uh, we're going to go out a slightly different way than we came in. So, uh, you know, we came up uh, through this um, Grand Escalier here, um, through the uh, to the ro rotunda of the subscribers, but we're going to exit out this way to the left through the gift shop.
You can see a lot of uh, great historical and mythological references as we walk around. So the, uh, the main room for the show that we saw uh, it's a pretty impressive uh, structure. So the uh, the metal frame is hidden by all that marble and velour and uh, all that wonder stuff. That supports like eight tons is the weight supported. And of course the chandelier uh, with hundreds of lights. I think it's like 430 some lights in the chandelier. So pretty impressive as well. So here we are going through the gift shop. Now the gift shop, if you get a chance, has some really interesting things. If you have uh, some time to spend here and want to get a little gift for yourself or someone, uh, they have costumes from the various uh, uh, productions and all kinds of just cool, cool uh, things that you might want to pick up. Here we have some fans. Gotta have a fan if you're going to the opera. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna show you down in this end some of the, the costumes that they have for men and for women. Oops. Oh, so they move things around quite a bit, I see. Oh, they move things around way a lot. <laughs> all right. So they used to have all the suits down here, and they replaced them with all kinds of shirts. But uh, where is the rest of the stuff? All right. Well, they still have some elaborate things, but not the things I wanted to show you. Ooh, pardon. Pardon. So uh, we're gonna have to come back when we have some more time. And see where did they move everything? <laughs> They've moved everything around since my last visit. All right. Well, I guess that's good if you're a shopper. All right. So now we're gonna go outside and check the front of the building. They also have a nice little restaurant here. Uh, so if you're looking for a nice place to go near the Opera House, you can go right in the Opera House. And they have a great restaurant. And uh, I've been there for holidays, for like Christmas or New Year's. And it was, it was fine. And uh, if you want to check out like most uh, restaurants in France, you can check out the menu uh, before you go inside. And you can see what they have to offer and what the prices are, etc. You can see the price is very, very reasonable here. Uh, it looks like a lunch menu for what, about 37 euros? Um, so that's pretty good. And I'm sure the dinner menu is not too much more. Now we'll just walk out to the front of the building so you can get a view of the magnificence of the Opera House from the front, which is pretty impressive. The Opera Garnier, considered one of the more beautiful theaters in the whole world. And in just a minute, we will see why. <laughs> so there's the street that we just saw a couple minutes ago from up above famous uh, historic area here from the back of these Italians all right let's turn around See if we can get a decent view of the opera house from here. Uh, so we'll up. There we go. And you gotta see this at night. Very impressive at night time.
the opera house. Don't forget, you guys can take screenshots. Send the screenshots to me on Twitter. Tweet them out at Hero Maestro if you got a good screenshot. Always appreciate that. And uh, here we are, right in front of the metro entrance. Here you can see the metro entrance and the opera house in all its glory. The European Union flag, of course, on top, sitting alongside the French flag. And there you go. I hope you did enjoy this tour. Be sure to uh, hit the like button if you liked it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. So you hit the, the uh, subscription button, hit the like button, hit the bell so you get notified. And uh, feel free to share this out on Twitter or Facebook. And uh, I'll be talking to you guys real soon. And be glad to answer, like I said before, any questions you may have.